Hello there, and welcome to my next 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to do this really, really, really cool thing. It is a whole nother viewing ability. It's third person viewing. So, what you do is you rotate around this object, up and down, and side to side. And then you can also move him by going forward, backwards, and around. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's a very cool effect on how to make games. So, um, have to make our sprites, of course, sprite that guy. And then background, this is going to be the floor is. So that's that floor. And then red. Now this is going to be the texture for our um, guy. And now scroll mouse look. This is just a little bit of um, a little bit of code needed to make it kind of around. So if change x is smaller than 0.1 so yeah it's just a little bunch of code so you're gonna wanna either copy that or read it and figure it out so then you're gonna wanna pause it now so now in player create um, d3d start d3d set hidden d3d set lighting and all that just setting the start of the room you probably already know that hopefully now setting a bunch of variables. We don't actually need these all, but some of them we do are very important. Now, um, this is what's making the mouse look. So every step you do this. So scroll mouse look. If cam deer smaller than direction minus ninety, then cam deer equals direction minus ninety. So yeah, just a little bit of code there to make it um, smooth and stuff. So now, when you want to go up, once again, set variable speed to 5, and then down is minus 5. Okay, now draw. Okay, so this is a bunch, a lot of code. So this code, what it does, is that way, um, because if you turn the camera around you, then it also, then it goes around. But then if you turn your player, then the camera also moves around. So... And that's all this code, making sure. And then D3D set projection, so you have to set all these. And then draw set alpha 1 and draw set color C white. So, you're going to need all that to, for the view. And this is more um, moving. So, VK left and VK right, then you just um, rotate, and then if not, keyboard checky VK up. Anyway, just all that moving stuff, you can probably figure that out. Okay, and then this is D3D draw floor, and that's also in my previous tutorial. And then this is how to draw the model. You probably also know that from the previous tutorial. So D3D transform set identity, all that, draw cylinder. Oh, and it has to ro and you have to rotate it. So that means that um that this becomes the that um this zero here becomes the um Z, and this one becomes the Z instead, because then when you flip it over, that's just how it works. All right, so now to view around. So A key, that would be your um, left one when you want to view around left way. So change X equals plus two. Okay, and then D key, which would be your right turn, then equals plus minus two. And then S, okay, so um, player dot change Y equals minus three relative. And then W is the same except for um, plus three, not minus three. Oh yeah, and then when you release a key, then change X equals zero, and same with releasing of D key. That way, you won't keep rotating around, which is a very, very, very annoying thing. And of course, you stick the one object in your room. This is very handy, because now you only have to have the one object, and you have a whole game very cool little thing. So now you play the game again. Still doesn't take too long to load. There we go. And now as you can see, a very cool camera effect which is has limited limitless, limitless possibilities for making games. I really like this view and I way prefer it to the other view. Hope this tutorial was very helpful for you. Now, next tutorial is going to show you how to load external models into GameMaker, making way better models. So, goodbye.